Seven points. And to cap time presented by your Central Florida Honda dealers coming up momentarily. Dante Marcatelli will look back at the top five magic plays of the month of February. And we'll have first half highlights and stats from Miami. Welcome to the Magic Halftime Show presented by your Central Florida Honda dealers. Our score after one half of play, Maurice Harkless and the Orlando Magic lead, or I'm sorry, trail the Miami Heat 61 to 53. Uh, wishful thinking there on my part. Maybe they'll have the, the lead by the end of this one. The Miami Heat lead by eight after one half of play, and the Orlando Magic are led by Tobias Harris and his 14 points. For the Miami Heat, Chris Bosch. No one ever talks about Chris Bosch. He leads the way with 15 right now. LeBron James has 13 and 10 for Dwayne Wade as he started to heat up there in that second quarter in the Orlando Magic. Uh, Watching the Miami Heat shoot 61% from the floor there in the first half. They can certainly get it going, but look for a better defensive effort here in the second half. Well, the Magic are playing their first game in the month of March. They finished the month of February with a record of 5-7. and seven, But along the way, some very impressive wins and some big moments from the month of February. Right now, we run down our top five. We begin with Jameer Nelson at number five. This move, step back, Jay moves him past Shaquille O'Neal into fourth place on the Magic all-time scoring list. That point gives him 8,020 for his 10-year career. Jameer Nelson now fourth all-time on the Magic scoring list. And our number four play from the month of February, Maurice Harkless with the drive against the Washington Wizards. And you love to see this out of the youngster, two of his season high tying 22 on the night. He's done a good job shooting the three, but you like to see that out of Maurice. Victor Oladipo with the number three play from the month of February. This one midway through the second overtime, the flush. And that gives Orlando a four-point lead in the second overtime. They would defeat New York. A great pass from Aaron Aflalo, who actually would go down with a sprained ankle on that play. But a fired-up Oladipo gives us number three. Number two, the last play of the game against the Indiana Pacers. 6.9 seconds to go. Magic up one. Boots can't get the ball in bounds. A turnover. And a shot at the end of the game comes up short from Paul George. Look at this. He was not going to take a five-second call on this play. Forces it in. Tries to go off David West's legs. It ends up in the hands of Paul George. Comes up short. And the Magic defeat the team with the best record in the NBA. The team with the second best record would come the following game. The Oklahoma City Thunder. Magic down by one. 4.9 to go. The best player in the league. Pull-up jumper misses. Oladipo corrals the loose ball. Do they have enough time to get off a shot? Ball finds Tobias Harris at the buzzer, and he just gets the shot off. He slams this one in as time expires. Maurice just gets it out of his hands in time. And I tell you what, that thing gets closer and closer. Look at that. Every time you look at it, just left his hand, just clears the rim in the net before that light goes on. And the Magic defeat the Oklahoma City Thunder. So they take down the two best teams in the NBA in back-to-back -back games, the Oklahoma City Thunder and the Indiana Pacers. And very impressive what the Magic have done at home during the month of February. Four and one at the Amway Center. Feeding off of you, the home crowd. Get a chance to do that here for the next couple of games after they do this one here in Miami. Still more to come here on the Halftime Show. We'll run down our first half highlights and our first half statistics. Tobias Harris leading the way for Orlando. 14 first half points back in a moment.